Well, just talking about one of the most common sexual problems in men is still pretty taboo. But that is all changing with advances in science. Dr. Kim Mulvihill begins her two-part series called Not So Fast. A little warning here, the material is meant for a mature audience. For the snap, false start. And a flag on the play. The problem's a lot more common than you think. It's actually the major sexual complaint of men. Not on the gridiron, but in the bedroom. False start, false start, false start. The problem is premature ejaculation, called PE for short, and it occurs in 20 to 30 percent of all sexually active men. It's all about timing. When it comes to an orgasm, the average woman needs about 13 minutes. The average man, about three. Men with PE often finish within one minute. It kind of surprises me. It's an embarrassing subject. Yeah, I've had problems with that with boyfriends. <laughs> if a couple loves to have sex in one minute, it's not a problem. If a couple likes their sexual intercourse and sexual activity to take four hours, then it might be a problem. She doesn't want to complain, and he feels really awful about it, and he feels like he's not, you know, really being the man that she wants. It can be a very significant source of personal distress, psychological distress and relationship problems. Dr. Ira Charlip of California Pacific Medical Center and Drs. Paul Turek and Luann Brizendine of UCSF Medical Center are all top specialists in sexual medicine. In the past we didn't understand very much about why it happens. Well, New research has changed how they all think about premature lack. ejaculation. I think the world changed when medicine figured out some avenues into the physiology. We now understand that there are changes within the central nervous system, actually in the, in the brain, in the hypothalamus and in the brain stem. And that understanding is changing treatment. One approach, certain drugs used to treat depression, coincidentally, can also delay ejaculation. It actually became a cure for premature ejaculation. Beautiful catch! A cure that offers benefits... It's up and good. ...to two-thirds of men with the problem. Dr. Kim Mulvihill, CBS 5 Health Watch. Coming up tonight at 11, Dr. Kim will be reporting on the current treatments, including a new surprising therapy and an experimental drug that is showing lots of promise. Well, doctors say it is the most common sexual problem that men experience, but most men don't even like to talk about it. It's not what you think. Tonight, CBS 5's Dr. Kim Mulvihill reports on new approaches to treating P.E. Massage. <laughs> yes, the top secret massage, baby. <laughs> oh. Premature ejaculation. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I swear to God, that never happens. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. May get a lot of laughs in Hollywood. Houston, we have a problem. But in real life, the condition, called PE for short, is a concern for 20 to 30 percent of all sexually active men. That is pretty good to, know. good to know. It's very common. The surprising thing is it can be in men of any age that can suffer from premature ejaculation. There are marriages that have been terminated uh, because of this problem. It's easy to see why. When it comes to orgasm, the average woman needs about 13 minutes. The average man, about three. Men with PE often finish within one minute. It kind of ruins the moment, I guess. The goal is to slow it down. Just whatever you see like on movies, I'll tell you think about bar stools and stuff. There are low-tech solutions, such as focusing on anything but sex. The Gettysburg Address, doing calculus. Sometimes it may be as simple as, think about your mother, right, <laughs> at the time of ejaculation. Or various numbing techniques. There is a topical uh, drug that can be placed on the penis. But that involves a lot of work. You have to put this cream on, you have to wait five minutes, you have to have the erection when you do it. However, new research suggests a much easier approach. How about taking a single pill before sex? These medications already exist and are effective in about two-thirds of patients. They're called SSRIs and are approved by the FDA to treat depression. One of their negative side effects turns into a real plus for men with PE. The common side effect of these antidepressants is delayed ejaculation. A five-fold delay. One minute becomes five. SSRIs boost serotonin levels. And low levels of serotonin, a neurochemical made in the brain, appear to play a central role in premature ejaculation. 
These SSRI medications will enhance serotonin levels, which will delay ejaculation. Some men may need to take them daily, and that can be a problem when there are other side effects like headaches, nausea, and insomnia. They are long-acting drugs, and if you get side effects from them, the side effects last for a longer period of time. An experimental drug developed in the Bay Area could change that. The drug, called dipoxetine, can be taken as needed, works within the hour, and clears the system quickly. It's ideal for a single sexual encounter. But drugs aren't always enough. Do you have sex often? Hardly ever, maybe three times a week. Constantly, I'd say three times a week. Wow. Sexual counseling may also help, <laughs> as well as understanding your partner. It's not a problem in the relationship, it's really a physiologic problem with him, and he's trying the best he can. Dr. Kim Mulvihill, CBS 5 Health Watch. <laughs> and for more information on PE, you can go to CBS5.com and click on Health.